What? Play in the street? Yeah, alright. Just don't tell your mom. Hi! Today I want to highlight a couple of tools that you can use to record your desktop and record you on your desktop doing different things. Um, the two tools that we're going to go over today are Screencastify and Loom. Both different apps, they kind of do the same thing. A few minor differences between the two of them, uh, and I'm going to cover that quickly. Then you can decide which one you want to use. Why would you want to use yourself like I am right now, recording you doing something on your computer screen? Um, you know, sometimes it's just easier to try and show someone how to do it rather than write a long and lengthy list of instructions. So um, it's also a great way to get interactive and a great way to connect with students. They can see your faces and they might understand a little bit better if you can actually talk them through how to do something rather than or that rather than them or rather than their parents having to, to read through what you want them to do. So I want to highlight these two tools for you today. The first tool that I'm using currently right now is Screencastify. So Screencastify is actually a browser that you, or excuse me, is actually an extension that you add to your Chrome browser. It's all browser based. There's nothing that you uh, download onto your computer. And actually it is uh, this is the extension icon right up here, and you can see the red dot there shows me that I'm recording. When I click that red dot, it actually shows me this thing right here, and I can say whether I want to just record my browser tab, whether I want to do the whole desktop, maybe I just want to do the webcam and that's it. Um, I can either turn on or off my microphone or my webcam, kind of whatever I, I decide to do that way. And then I just install it and it goes right up there. Um, it's pretty simple. It's really straightforward. It's actually how I uh, have chosen to record all of my lessons and my videos. Um, I started using Screencastify a lot last year, so I've been using this tool for a while, and I'd say it's it's my go-to. One of the things I do like about Screencastify as well is that, and besides it being pretty simple and straightforward, it has pretty cool tools that you can use as well. So for instance, I can uh, pause this recording if I want it and come back to it like so. And then I can also choose some things with my mouse. I've been using this one kind of a lot. It highlights just where my mouse is at. It really kind of draws attention to the screen uh, where you want your, your, your audience to look. Um, there is some drawing tools on here as well. So, you know, if I did want to, I can highlight different things and say, look, four schools, isn't that cool? Crazy. Um, I can erase it then too, if I want to. And what is this? And then I can embed the white webcam, all that kind of good stuff. All right. So moving on. <laughs> um, with Screencastify, um, one of the things that I like about it a lot is the um, way that it saves your Let's see, I gotta turn this off now. There we go. A uh, way that it saves your videos. So Screencastify will actually save it right into Google Drive. So I connect it to my Google Drive account and I've got a folder in my drive and these are all the different videos that I've made. So one of the things I do a lot uh, when I'm gone and I have a substitute, this is even before this whole thing happened, was instead of me trying to write out a long lengthy list of uh, instructions for the sub to follow, I just record myself uh, in this um, browser you know doing the actual activity so a lot of times it might be like a coding website that we're doing today rather than trying to explain algorithms or nested loops i will just do it right here i will show it the sub then all they do is just play the video and it's me explaining to the kids and then the kids go back and they and they do it i've had really positive uh feedback from that so far so i really like being able to save the videos straight away into your Google Drive. From here, I can share it with individuals. I can share it with, uh, you know, open just to the link. There's actually, it's, it's really quick and easy to upload it to YouTube as well. Here's a lesson that I did um, a while ago, back in 2019. And you can see, you know, it saves it right to Drive. I can get a shareable link right away. I can publish it to YouTube, even share it to Classroom. So it makes the Google integration um, it really, really easy that way. And that's one of the reasons I like it. It does have a little bit of a video editor as well. Um, and you can download the video too. The video editor, I think looks like this. So I've got like a crop tool and uh, some trimming options. I can also add some text on here as well before then I save it back here. So with Screencastify, like I said, it's, it's a tool that I really like. Um, here's what the pricing looks like. So there's a free account. You can record up to five minutes and 
you get um, these kind of features. You get 50, I think it's 50 per month at five minutes per video. If you want the free feature, um, record it, trim it, auto save, export it, no uh, watermark, annotation tools, kind of like I showed you there, and you can publish it to YouTube. Now I will say that I've gone ahead and I bought the um, unlimited package here. You can actually get a discount for education. Um, so I didn't think it was that bad of a price i just bought it for the year i get all that kind of stuff and um the text part and the unlimited part is what i like a lot so i can make really long videos which i am a giant fan of so um that's just something to keep in mind it's a pretty cool tool but like i said you'll unlock kind of everything uh you know there's a, there's a price to to pay for it but i went ahead and i paid the 30 dollars um, to get it okay now I'm going to go ahead and show you screen cast of, or excuse me, to uh, the next one, Loom. Loom, Loom, kind of the same thing, just a little bit different, different take on it, a few differences in um, how it works, but uh, the reason that you would use our video recording system like this is, is the same as Screencastify. So first off, you can see that you've got camera access here. Now I'm in this little circle down in here. Um, I can turn this on, I can turn this off, I can turn the mic on, mic off, kind of depending on how you would like to record the video at the time. Uh, Loom does have different uh, features over here. I can stop the video right there, pause it if I need to, trash it if I'm like, that was awful, I just did that. And then it does have this um, drawing tool right here so I can pick a color and I can highlight different things on the screen and you know draw attention to it that way. Um, with Loom then, one of the things that it is uh, that's kind of nice about it um, is that it has two different ways to access it. One way is to access it via the extension. So I can quick access it right here in Chrome and it would start recording this, uh, uh, whatever you want to do that way. Uh, there's also a, a desktop app that you can download. So down here in the start button, I can find that Loom is actually a, um, a program that I would run. It kind of gives me a little bit more features than the extension does. The extension is for like, quick easy, easy videos that you want to send. Um, I even noticed it that you can uh, like embed them right in a Gmail. Um, so like there's a quick link right in Gmail now uh, that would let me install or insert a Loom video if I didn't want to type it all out and I wanted to talk to somebody instead. So that's kind of neat. Um, one of the big draws to Loom right now though is that they are giving away some free pro accounts, especially those in education because of the whole COVID-19 thing. So if you do want to go the Loom route and get uh, pro features for free, then, you know, you'd come up here and you'd come where it says, you know, get Loom for free um, or learn more. Let's see what this one does. Loom for free. And already's logged in. So let me go back real quick. I'm going to click where it says learn more so that you can actually do it. Um, when you do it, you would want to come down here and it's going to give you a long lengthy reason why they're helping out with the coronavirus and making these tools available for free. So down kind of towards the middle, it says also Loom Pro is now free for education. Here's what you need to do. So you're going to click on this link right there and then it'll be like kind of an explanation so you can sign up for free. So you're gonna sign in, you're gonna use your or your Carlisle address and um, it'll give you pro access and then they'll verify your account and then uh, they'll keep it at pro level there for, I guess I don't know how long they're gonna keep it at pro level, but it's still pretty nice that um, you can get a kind of a pro subscription here for being an educator. When you do log in, you're going to see a screen that says my videos like this. And these are all the different videos that you um, are going to be recording. It also has other folders like uh, some help folders over here that you can look through and, and get ideas about how to record the best ways to record, which is kind of nice. So the key difference between Loom and Screencastify is that when you record a video, it stays on Loom's computers here in the website, which is you know, nice in that you can access them uh, from anywhere by going to the Loom website. Uh, but then you also got to know that you're you're not housing it like in our Google Drive. It's it's housed uh, through Loom. So on any one of these videos, then these are all on Loom's stuff. Um, but you can click them and open them up. Let me uh, open up one of these videos real quick. I'm going to open up this one called Test Video. 
And inside this test video here, uh, when you do record it and then you kind of watch it this way, you can copy the link like so. And then when you copy the link, this is what you're going to share out. So this is what you're going to embed in your learning guides or you're going to put into your emails uh, or you're going to put anywhere else that you want someone to view that video. So when you do view that video, um, send it out like you know, with that link, which is kind of cool. It does have some editing features here so that you can trim it and put some custom um, thumbnails and call to action buttons. Uh, I wouldn't, it doesn't look like it's quite as robust as Screencastify is, but again, it is freer than Screencastify is. So that might be a big bonus for you too. There's also ways that you can kind of do like emojis during the the video and whatnot, which is kind of a fun feature as well. So Loom, um, when you uh, subscribe to it, again, free for teachers and students, the pro account, which is pretty cool. With a pro account, you get as many videos as you need. You get unlimited number of video access. Um, Lots of people use it. There's a Chrome extension. There's a desktop extension or a desktop app and a web app as well. So you can kind of have access to it all over the place. Um, there is, oh, there's these other things that you can get, show all features. There we go. Um, Cam bubbles, these are drawing tools when you have the uh, pro account like we've got right now. Um, other, you know, trimming and video thumbnails, things like that. So again, a lot of the same features, but I would say like the big key difference between Loom and Screencastify is, is kind of where that video is housed. Do you like it being housed in Google Drive or do you like it having to, you know, be on this website here where it's, it's just simple sending in a link. You don't have to worry about sharing permissions, uh, who can view it, who can edit it, all that kind of stuff that sometimes happens uh, when a, a file is stored in Google Drive. So from here then, like how could you use these two different apps? Um, whoop. Switch back over here. Now I'm on Screencastify again. Um, so why would you use one of these um, web recording apps like this? You know, I think there's a number of ways that you could utilize them. Uh, math problems would be a big one here. Maybe I wanted to demonstrate this. This might be a PDF, something in your drive. Um, I'm going to go ahead and you know use uh, the tool right here. Let's see, I'm going to use the pen app, and then I can pick a color, and I can help like actually demonstrate. So change one number or symbol. Well, that's pretty easy. This is a multiply science. Four times two. Well, that's not right. Uh, no, okay. Four, what was it? Four, is it divided? Divided, four divided? No. Four, four, the square root of, the square root of four? No. How? The quadratic, is the, is the quadratic formula, right? Some plus or minus the square root, how many symbols? Anyway, okay, first grade math is hard. My point is uh, math is an easy way that you can demonstrate um, you know, how you get a specific answer. Maybe just cross this off and it says the num this is wrong, okay? Um, highlighting text passages, you could you know, pull up a website with some text and identify the nouns and the verbs, the main idea, whatever it is that you're trying to demonstrate that way. And of course, just creating how-to videos like this, like how do you log into this site or how do you access or how do you turn in the form in Google uh, Classroom? Those are sometimes way easier to just do a quick video that explains how to do it and show the kids how to do it uh, and demonstrate rather than try and, you know, write a long lengthy list. So lots of fun ways that you can utilize a, um, a system like this, whether it's Loom, Screencastify, or honestly, there's a thousand other uh, programs out there that kind of do the same thing. But I do like these two programs the best. If there's something I can do to help uh, support you um, in, in how to use these, please let me know. Uh, and Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. All right. Thank you.